So we have a dilemma. We uh, found something. Oh, we what? found a dog. <laughs> This is weird, guys. Like, Cash is going to school this morning. And we have two um, German Shepherds. And they were laying right here in the, in the, they're, they're way down there now. They were laying in the street. One of them was a the girl. And the boy is protecting her. Him down there? Baby, you got him. You got booger. My iPad's dead. Oh no! Must have been on all night. Mm -hmm. Let's go see what he's doing. Oh, he dropped his blanket. Can you give him his blanket? Escape. It means when you're stuck somewhere, you can get out. Okay. Okay. Did you know he can actually get out by his own? He can? Yeah. Good job, baby. You did it. See? Come on. Let's go change the diaper. Good morning. Loads with Tiki in my face. Oh yeah. Ready? Go. Now that he's awake, he is playing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Crazy boy. <laughs> you crazies. You wanna go work with me? Yeah. Okay. So I was just laying in bed and uh, put out a couple feelers for offers. And normally I don't get something till later in the day, but uh, C.H. Robinson, like it automatically came through um, load confirmation. I was like, okay, so we're going and down to- We've got a lot of packages down there. We've got a lot of packages look, down there. Look how much packages. Let's check them out. We got a lot of packages, huh? Yeah, let's go open one. Let's go open them all. Alright, first we'll do this before we head out and pick it up. It's a straight through, so that's why I took it. I'm gonna take him with me. Uh, that one's a package deal, so we'll open up all the little ones first, okay? I wonder, something just doesn't look right. Let's try and fix that. So we went from that to... Okay, let's get these things fired up. If you want to see more of this uh, hood or what it looks like on the outside, check out 3BB. It's uh, linked in the description to my son's channel. Let's go get in those trucks, okay? Let's go, dude. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Just throw them up there, huh? All right. We are picking up right here off exit 60, where my QT is at, so. <laughs> that is awesome. I've uh, never been here before, Ken Kenco or something like that, so. Don't know what they are shipping down to Kimberly Clark, but I have been to Kimber Kimberly Clark before down there in uh, Augusta. So just straight through, be there before four o'clock, and it's almost 10 30 right now. So we should be good, depending on how quick they can get on the truck. So let's pray that they uh, don't take an early lunch. Stay to the left over here so we can clear those curbs. Let's go see what we got. Alright, it's so the first left after that light. The flea market to our right. Looks like it's this left where this guy's turning too. He's taking a nice and wide with the reefer. You 
Express Lumber is on our right. I've never, I've never been down here before, I don't think. And it says up here on the left is Kenco. Maybe where that truck's pulling out right there, I don't know. But it says past this last street, and then it's that gray building, I guess. What does that truck say? That truck says La Saint. I don't know what La Saint is. But he pulled out of there, so I'm guessing I'm pulling in there. All these new buildings, it's crazy. So much new stuff being built in the Greenville area. Let's hope they have a sign up saying Kenco. Some more of a Saint, FedEx. A bunch of people sitting over here, hopefully that's a good sign. Let's go. Jason, do you want to check in with me? Yeah. All right. You can bring your Skittles. Let's try and stay out of the way over here and see what they have to say. Okay, Bubba's. Got your shoes on? Kenco before, but is that where I'm supposed to be? Is Kenco? Kenco? Yeah, ever heard of that one? Next to you? Five. Okay, next door? So I have to go back around? Yeah, the they got a fence, so okay. you can either go around that, that, way, that way, or, or that, way. that way. Either way. Cool, man. What do you guys do here? Third party. Okay, sweet. But later on, man. So that is not the one, Casey. It's over that way, they said. There are the three PL, third party logistics. So let's see, he said you can go to the main road again or go behind because there's a gate between them. So at least we know we're going the right way. What does the sign say, though? I can get through here, okay. What does it say? Posted private property, okay. We'll just take this other road then. It's more of like a road for car parking, but it's big enough to fit down. And we'll go to Kenco. Now I don't see one truck back here, so I'm praying they're doing some work. I don't see anybody over here. We shall see. Hmm. Okay, so I wasn't sure if I should pull up to the gate, but then I saw it says, uh, call. So, 425 Apple Valley, that's where we're at. They must have something special because they are all fenced off. But no trucks, so let's call. So I was still going through like the prompt for uh, talking to somebody and then the gate just started opening. So <laughs> I didn't actually talk to anybody. It just said, hey, you've reached Kenco facility. I'm like, okay. So the gate opened. And let's see if anybody sneaks out of these doors and looks at us or something. Tells us them right here. I don't know. What does that say? Driver check-in. There we go. Right it straight ahead. Driver check-in. Number Why door 10. Do we need to get your shoes back on, Bubba. Why'd they do what, baby? Why did they put those lights turn? Those lights turn red when your truck is getting loaded, and then it turns back to green when you're all done. So it goes green, pull into it, then it goes red, and it goes back to green. I'm, I'm you brought your Skittles? Them yum. All right, let's check in. Eight nine three zero six nine seven nine. Eight nine three zero six nine seven nine. It's going to Kimberly Clark down there in Augusta. Hmm? <laughs> what are you doing? He likes to come with me because he wants to find vending machines. Mm, no vending machines this one. Maybe the next one. That's where you like if someone has to go push back and forth. You can push papers through there, or, or pens, or whatever. Or coins. Or what? Or coins. Or coins, I do. It's C.H. Robinson. Yeah, sorry. Make sure you can just let all the way back for me, go ahead back into door number seven. Door seven, okay. And then green light, come back in here. Okay, thank you. Come on. What's the green light for? Green lights when you, uh... Remember I said the light will turn red, then it'll turn green again? So we got to slide our tandems in the back. 
which is our back tires, and then getting to door seven. Let me know if you see a number seven anywhere. Over here, buddy. You see a number seven? Back here. No? Look on the top. Nope, look up top. There it is. That's the one. Okay, come on. Yep, that's the one. Let's open our doors. So we got door seven today. Um, that's Wait, did you actually see those numbers on the ground? Yep, they're on the ground. You didn't actually see those. No, I hope they're painted on the ground and on the doors. Did you actually know that? I didn't know that. Thanks for showing me. Um, and it says on the Raycon that the load was 168 miles, but I've been to Augusta a bunch of times. It's a two hour drive. And it's a, uh, you can actually see right here. That it's really only 120 miles, which is what I thought. So that's why I bid a thousand on it. I said it's only hundred miles. And I know it, it's a straight through. So I don't know what's going on with Sage Robinson's models, but they're a little bit off. What's up, babe? Yeah, babe. Uh, so you stop before you leave. They don't want you just to come right through. They got to make sure they know who you are. Still not 100% sure where we're even getting, but you're getting something. Let's get out here and slide our tandems. I'll be right back, okay? This is stuff I have to do really quick. Understand? Slide the tandems. That was quick. They went red light right when we touched the door. And also, look, there's a hundred numbers. There's a hundred. You mean the number one hundred? Yeah. Wow. See the two zeros and the one? Yep. That's a hundred. Good job, dude. I on the bottom of there. There's an extra tire in case one pops. So see this little thing right here? Yeah. Pull it this way. That little knob. This? Yep. Pull it out. Good job, dude. Oh. That's how we slide the tires back and forth. Thanks for doing that. What do we have in here? Why do we Leave on dot material code starch. Okay, it's so it's starch. No, we can't go in. <laughs> Let's go get our paperwork and get our seal. We got to be there by four o'clock, and it's almost eleven thirty. Okay. Let's go. Dad, I ran over the sensor on the ground, and that makes the gate open. See that little black line over there? Yeah. That's the sensor on that side. The sensor on this side, we're running over it right now. All right, we have 121 miles to the drop, and it's 11.45. Seal is on, and we have about 42,000 pounds. It's a little bit heavy. We're bringing starch to the Kimberly Clark Company down there. They make paper towels, paper, like diapers, uh, toilet paper, all that stuff. What was what for, baby? I didn't see any green things, Bubba. Oh, maybe they were little caution signs. All right, let's get down there. You wanna get some food on the way? Okay. We are making good time coming through the city of Newberry and somebody has passed out up there on the uh, top bunk with his little net down. <laughs> he likes plugging in a little safety net to keep himself secure back there, so. He's all set. Hopefully we'll uh, get him hooking up back up here and hopefully he gets off the truck pretty quickly. Because skip with the Clark, when you're getting loaded, they can take you some, they can take some time. But the unloading of uh, products they need, normally it's pretty pretty good, pretty good like hour or so. Pray for that and um, you get back to the house, get towards the house. We're still in the same fuel we had from the last trip over the weekend all the way down to Tampa Bay and back. We're uh, between a quarter tank and a half tank still. So. Pretty cool. Good guy. Good fuel mileage going down to uh, Florida because when I dead head back, I'm getting 10 miles per gallon at 65, 63 miles an hour. So I like those flatlands for, for miles per gallon. But right now, we're going to get down to Augusta, Kimberly Clark. Like that mower just pulled out in front of uh, that freight liner. They have quite a lot of grass on the road back there, a little bit right here, but. Back there, it's like in the middle of the road, big old heaps of it. So, note to self: don't don't ride a motorcycle down here anytime soon. Then we're 31 miles from our drop, and somebody just woke up and said, "Hi, Dada." Hi, oh, baby. This little area of Augusta has all these big old houses on both sides. I don't know. 
what the significance or history of it is, but it's just like this one little row. I don't know if there's other places that are like that, but they're all brick and big old houses. Let me know what you know about that. This guy in front of me just merged on. He has uh, one heck of a diesel pusher with a nice, that's a trailer right there. Nice trailer. TNT Cycles. I don't know. Must make some nice bikes. I don't know what they do, but uh, matching diesel pusher with a matching trailer. Nicely done. We are taking exit 16, this next exit. But we're about to go over the, I believe it's the Savannah River. No, maybe not the Savannah River. No, I think so. I forget, but um, Kimberly Clark's right over to our left. We just kind of got to go. Yeah, it's Savannah River. There you go. Kind of go wrap around. We go into Georgia for 1.5 miles, 2 miles, and then we come right back out of Georgia. Just a little bit of IFTA on the Georgia side today. And that's the border right there is the river. Here we go. What I heard from up top up there, you say you got to pee? Got to pee. All right. He's watching Mario Brothers. You saw that grass? There was also some water back there, too. Well, we'll go we'll go over it again so you can see it again. But there's a big river back there. Yeah. You want to walk in that grass? Well, we're going to go deliver this stuff on a truck and then maybe after that, okay? Oh, I see water! You see water? That's a river. The lakes that we go on, um, they feed that river. Lake Kiwi and Lake Hartwell. Is that pretty cool? He saw the river. So we would go uh, veer off to the right right there on that no, road. I found, What'd you find? A fire station. Whoa, fire station. That's pretty cool. If you look, if you look over there, we'll come back, you'll see it. Okay. Uh, we would normally veer off to the right there, and that would be where we went to deliver, but we have about an hour and a half, so. We're gonna stop over here because someone needs to pee in the back there, and um, there's only one area. If you look that way, you'll see it. When we go back. Oh, the the fire station. Okay, we'll try to look at it next time. Okay, but uh, we're gonna get him some some pee pee break and uh, maybe some nuggets, chicken nuggets, good old McDonald's, and then we'll go check in because they only have one area of the Kimberly Clark that has a bunch of the uh, vending machines, but we don't know if we're going to be in that area. That's mostly the pickup area, not the delivery area. And this little McDonald's, that's where we're going to, it's so tiny. <laughs> it's a small one attached to a, a fuel station. That's where we're going to get you to pee. Yeah, and then there's uh, three little pumps in the back of it. So if anybody comes down here for the first time, you know that he's a, See the other big trucks back there? That big trucks fit behind this place. So just know that if you ever come down to Kimberly Clark in Augusta. There's room for... It is a tiny McDonald's. Maybe like four trucks can park right here. Dump truck is here. And you can park back there in that dirt lot too. So Just know you can park here. We're going to go uh, park in that lot. We're actually back in right here. And then uh, go get some food. And a pee break. There you go. Good job, dude. Come on, let's go. And jump. Wow, wow you're a good jumper. What are you going to eat from McDonald's? Candy? <laughs> Aren't you supposed to get like french fries or something? Huh? And candy. And ah, candy, okay. French fries and candy. There's blue ones and there's pink ones. And there's purple ones. What kind of candy are you going to get crazy? We got a cheeseburger Happy Meal. Oh, all kinds of different candies. Ooh, five. Oh, look. Is that Quench? That is, uh, yeah. All kinds of different ones, huh? A little bit hot. Yeah. What kind of toy did you get there? Oh, it spins around? It's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. It does have a broken step. What happened? I don't know. Maybe it hit a curb or something. Let's get back in this truck and deliver the load, okay? Yeah, it does have a broken step. All right, let's get it over. Across the street. And here we are, about a half an hour early for the appointment, which should be okay. 
4 o'clock appointment, and it's just about 3.30. They always make you slide your tandems in here and drive your trailer around with your tandems already slid, which is kind of kind of hard to maneuver, but hey. When I deliver, though, they don't. They just say, go find this area. Last time, it took me a while to find the area I was supposed to go to. Now, looks like there's only one truck in front. Oh, two trucks. I don't know what lane to be in. Typically, you can go in either lane, so we'll see what they say. We have a little cone out for a bottle. Let's see what we got. We'll wait for him, and we'll try to avoid the bottle. I don't know what's going on right now. Did you just jump down? What's up, dude? Yeah. We're at Kimberly Clark, but um, this guy back here, uh, he's walked back to his truck. He just got out of his truck, and there's one, two, three, four trucks behind him, and these guys have still not moved. Uh, there's four four trucks behind us. Isn't that crazy? Four trucks behind him? Yeah, behind us. I don't know what's going on. Where's he at? Uh, he went, got back in his truck. He's right behind us, but he was walking out to check and see what was going on. And then, oh, they're moving. All right, get back in your seat. Kay. Thank you, Bubba. Yeah, we've been sitting here for 20 minutes. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's shift change. Who knows? And we looked at the Raycon uh, a little closer. Always look at the notes, kind of, in your Raycons and stuff, guys. It said, let the um, office know that it's door 213 or 214. There is a blue big truck and a blue car, so hopefully that gives them, um, I don't know, less of a hassle knowing that where to put us, and so we can just go straight to 213 or 214. Well, it's been blocked out, but it says Kimberly Clark, and it used to say tractor trailer deliveries this side and vendor deliveries that side. So we'll see what they say. Delivered all the way on the other side, like in the corner, and I've delivered right here on the other side of this building one time. But I don't know what 213, 214 is. Over there around by the exit. Oh, okay, we're by that. The, there's like four spots. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I got starch, like big bags of starch. All right. Yeah. Go ahead and slide those candles. Okay. And then meet me back at the window. All right. Also, what you do, come around the uh, booth here and go park in this lot over here. I'm going to figure out where you need to be, all right? Okay. Come on, brother. So I sat there for 20 minutes while <laughs> they're trying to figure out where I was supposed to go. And he's telling me with my tandem slid all the way to turn around and go park in this lot over here. Uh, I can't, oh uh, my goodness. Frustrating sometimes. Because when your tandems are all the way slid, guys, if you're not a truck driver, your truck does not maneuver like it normally would. So, you to take super extra long turns and then, uh, uh, it's just not, not cool. So we're gonna take this last spot right here to the right park next to these trailers. Luckily we had enough room to get straight up there with our tandems back. And it looks like we're gonna get a little bit of shade where we're parking right here from this uh, trailer next to us. Let's go a little bit further. Get some shade. There we go. And now, uh, I guess I walk up there and wait. I don't know. I don't know. We parked where we uh, were out of the way with our tandems. And now we're going to go see what they're ever done with our paperwork. And they got it. Yes, go. <laughs> you stay here, Bubba. Uh -huh. Or you can come if you want. You want to come? You do. No, the one over there with the guy standing next to it? Mm -hmm. That's where we're going. There are a bunch of trucks waiting to get in here. Let's see what we got. Uh, we done figured it out. Sweet, awesome. <laughs> you're here? Yep. You're gonna come around, go up that road. <coughs> Alright, you'll come, you'll be sitting at this stop sign, yep. right? What you're gonna do is you're gonna go over the railroad tracks that are right here, yep. and you'll see a dock, two dock doors to your right hand I think side. I've been over there before. Alright, just kind of pull up and you'll go walk up the stairs right there, and there'll be a guy sitting there. Okay. Just hand him. This one right here, okay. and then this is going to be your copy. Okay. Um, is there a door number, or is it just two doors? 213, 214. Okay, cool. All right, cool. you can have that Thanks. if you need it. Awesome, And man. then once you go to leave, pretty much what you're going to do is just follow the signs back around to the exit on the other on side. On the other side. Mm -hmm. All right, just put that on the trailer. Cool. Thanks, brother. Mm -hmm. Come on, crazy boy. Yeah. 
with some rocks. Go figure. So after sitting here in the hot sun for however long, I'm trying to get my glasses on with one hand. Um, it's the exact same doors I told them. <laughs> 213, 214. So <laughs> whatever. I, I just think that maybe they're understaffed or something. I don't know. This world's going crazy right now with people working. Because there's barely any trucks getting through here. Let's get back in it, baby. So we stopped at the stop sign back there and uh, all these signs do not say 13 and 14. And I think it's these two right back to the right, but I can't see. So I'm gonna have to park here, go check those out. <laughs> like with your tandem slit, I don't know what these people are thinking. I know a lot of drop trailers, probably they want them to slide their tandems, but they don't slide them. So they're just like making them slide them at the door. But for stuff like this, case and I'll be right back. Um, you really want to have your tandems not slick because you're maneuver you maneuver around, you're not just dropping hooking. And there we go. 214. Okay, so it looks like we're getting into 213. And he said there was some steps somewhere. I don't know. What are you doing? I was trying to see what the door number was because we have to go to 214. Do you see a 214 or 213? On those doors over there? On the top, you don't see it? Right above the trailer. 214. Do you see it? Yeah, there you go. That's where we're going. Man, I just inched up ahead and went back in there, but it looks pretty cool in there. They gave you plenty of room to go in there, but it's hard with the tandems. It looks like the rail system actually goes in. You can see where they offload it right there, so they must need this starch. Got the seal off and we're ready to go. Let's see if anybody's in here. They said I can keep, I got my own sets, but I can still just stay with you guys, I think. Yeah. Got all the copy. Can just back into that one? Back into that? Okay, thank you. The park your trailer? Oh, inside there? Yeah. That's actually train cars. Those are trains. You see them? Wow, oh, train wow. cars. That's what's inside those doors. All right, once we get a red light, we'll uh, be getting unloaded. And that wasn't too bad, only about 15 minutes. They had it all off the truck, and our doors were open, our tans are still slid. We had to drive around the whole facility. Uh, we got loaded on the whole other side, <laughs> unloaded, uh, to get to the exit on this side, but then we're scot-free. Head back home, I wish we would've got, I mean, we had a four o'clock appointment. I was gonna try and like get back home and get some pool time, but it's 5.30 now, so. With that, I would love to, baby, but we got a two hour drive home and it's going to be closing at 8.39, so 8.39 39, 9 o'clock, so uh, maybe tomorrow we'll go in the morning, okay? When Cash goes to school, I'll take you and baby Kai. Right now it is 5.39, so we'll watch that there, Bobo. There we go. Took them a little bit to get us into a door, so by the time we get home, the pool will be closed, baby. Oh, it'll be close to being closed. We'll see. We'll see what time we make, but yeah. All right, let's get back home and slide these tandems. Back into South Carolina. You see that boat over there? Yeah. He's coming down the river. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It was broken. It's probably really old. Back. It's all the sun again. There you go. All right. About an hour and 45 minutes. We'll be home. Yeah, I tried to get him out of the road. What happened? He's just getting away from the house. I tried to... We should go see if we can... Um, we just call her and see if his owner's around. He's too close to the road. You see? We don't want anybody to hit him, right? Yeah. A little pit bull, pit bull mix. Oh, how nice he is, but we're just gonna try and keep him off the road. That's why we honked at him. So hopefully his owners are looking for him. They come out and get him, right? Yeah. He's looking at us. Just want to try and get him to run away. Go back home. Go back home, puppy. Go back home. You tell him to go back home. Go back home. Oh no no no! We don't want him coming this way. 
Miss your number, Miss your caller. Miss your caller. You got a phone number? Hey, baby. Let's call your phone number. Uh, he doesn't have a phone number. It's just like a code or something. Hi, baby. He's a good puppy. That's a good puppy. Oh, we have a dilemma. We uh, found something. Oh, we found a dog. <laughs> we found a dog. His name is Blue. His name is Blue. We called the microchip company and gave me two phone numbers and, and the address. The address is two miles back that way, but it's off a of main or like a country road and it's a trailer park so i couldn't uh i've been calling numbers over and over again so we're gonna wait like a half an hour but we're a good 80 miles from where we're gonna where we are right now and he's two miles from his house but i, I have two phone numbers one never answers and one i had one per, uh, answer but like they it was just quiet so then i called back two more times and they didn't answer so i left the voicemail uh they do he does live right here and he's microchipped and i got the the lady that I called the phone number on the orange thing, and uh, she gave me the address, and they're both their phone numbers, but no one's answering. So I don't know what I do here because I'm right. You can see where I'm at. I'm by a church, and he was in this field over here. I don't know, but we're gonna stay here, keep calling his number. So we finally got a hold of the lady, and she's gonna come get Blue. So he's gonna be fine. Look, he's sitting. He is sitting. He's a cute guy, huh? He likes you. Oh, that's why he's over here. Yeah, no Blue. Well, I believe your owner's on the way. <laughs> no problem. What's up? What's up? Come on, boy. He's laying on the bed over there. Come on, Bobby. Hello. Come on. Hello. Right here. I was like, oh, look at him. Hello. I'll get him out here. Okay, Blue liked you because he did not want to leave. No, he wanted to stay with you. Yeah, he liked you. Well, he's back with his owners. It was crazy. He, he did not want to get out of the truck. I'm staying in here with you guys. Maybe he liked you a lot. But we got him home safe. That's his owners, and uh, he's not roadkill, so good. He might be sad. He might be sad. He likes casing a lot. We'll get a dog like that one day, right? Right. There he goes in the G6 of the Pontiac. I think he will miss you, Case. Let's get back on the road again. I know I say it every time. You've been following the channel for a while. Uh, I love this little corridor of trees right here. They're getting uh, foliage now, so they got some... I'm talking to the phone and everybody that likes to watch YouTube with us. See how cool these trees are? Look out your window. Oh, the cool tree. <laughs> He's like, who are you talking to? <laughs> oh, Kaysen. But uh, if you're new to the channel, then thanks for subscribing. It's not anybody's name. It's a bunch of people um, all over the internet that can watch stuff on YouTube. Like you're watching Mario or whatever on YouTube. We're making videos for uh, people that like watching trucking and watching you. Right? He said, man, you said maybe we'll go visit Blue sometime? Yeah, maybe have a, maybe have an overnighter, he said. Go visit Blue. <laughs> you see another blue sign? Okay, it says rest area left lane. So we uh, drove past the rest area back there. Somebody saw all the trucks and then he saw the vending machines. <laughs> you see what up here? So he said, can we please go to the vending machines? And I said, sure. Now it's going to be on the left. Which side is the left? Yep. That way, yep. So let me know when you see an entrance on the left. Okay. Oh, you see it? Okay, we'll turn the Jake brake on. Well, I hope they have vending machines. That means 35 miles an hour for the exit Go that speed. Way. We're going in, buddy. Yay. All right. Look, what does it say right there? Rest area. That one says rest area patrolled by law enforcement. So it says police come here a lot to make sure everything's okay. There's a two and a five. And what do the people mean? It means watch out for people walking, right? Yeah. What, what does that sign say? Oh, I didn't see one. I saw one. Okay, well, let's... We'll, we'll see it when we get it. Let's see. Oh, it says vending right there, Kaysen. Vending? Vending. Okay. Vending machines! Yes, we found some. That is a, tra oh, that's a someone taking some trash out. Okay. All right, put your 
your shoes on. Let's go find the vending machines. Okay. What are that signs? What are those? Wrong signs? way. Okay, wrong way. Where's your shoes at? Okay. Can you I can help you put them on. Okay, we found vending machines. Let's go check them out. Yeah. God bless you guys. Thanks for checking in today. Check out JustTrucking.shop. Here's a couple of our buddies who bought some stuff. Oh, that's a race car. Oh, cool. That was a Mustang race car. Oh, it's great. Cool. Yeah, it has a loud exhaust. Um, and yeah, check out 3 bb if you want to see the hood on the uh, truck? race truck. Yeah, we put that on today, didn't we? Yep. yep. It's right. black. It is black. It's not red. High five, and let's get out of here. Boom. Later, guys. Have you ever found yourself sitting there on the couch on a Sunday afternoon thinking, wow, I wonder what's going to happen to this number 18? And you get to thinking to yourself, well, today's a good day. Sure wish I had a t-shirt to celebrate this. Well, we've got just the thing from you. Our new Just Trucking Dot Shop, faster than Kyle Busch. LS1 Swap giveaway t-shirt. And if the drawing was today, this is how we're doing the drawing, guys. Just picking one from a big old bowl. Thomas Williamson from Lampasas, Texas. You would have won. What? And we still have all of these entries to cut out. Speaking of cutting up, for the ladies, you could always T-dub your shirt and cut it up. <laughs> well then check out Just Trucking Dot Shop. Grab one of these t-shirts, help support the channel. And I'm all hopped up Mountain Dew! Thanks for watching today's video. And by the way, we're having a sale at Just Truck and Dot Shop. If you buy two shirts, get one free. You just have to use the code JTB2G1.